Okay, so on this one, we're, we know the force. We know g. Of course, you always know g. We know the first mass. We know the radius, and we're trying to solve for that, right? So let's just plug the numbers in. Here's our force. So 6.4 e minus 8, right, is equal to, and then g is 6.67. That's 11. That's one of the masses. Here's the other mass, 56. And then um, 56. Oh, and then the other mass, I guess, is the wrecking ball, right? OK. And then uh, it's 7 meters, so this will be 7 squared. OK, so let's see. Uh, OK, so we're trying to solve for m. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy. This is over 1. Okay, remember that, uh, use the red pen, right? That you can move stuff for free diagonally. So this stuff here, I'm going to move to the basement there. This stuff in the basement, I'm going to move up there. So it'll be this times this, divided by this, divided by this. Okay? That's what I'm doing in my calculator. So 6.4 e minus 8 times 7 squared divided by 6.67 e minus 11 divided by 56. Boom. And I'm getting 839.58. Whoops. I'll say comma. m equals that to that. So again, you're going to go this times this, then go divided by this, divided by this. Or alternately, you could go divided by parentheses 6.67 e minus 11 times 56, right? So two ways to type that, right? One way, the other way is divided by 6.67 e minus 11 divided by 56. These are these are equivalent, okay? Just the, the trick here is getting the number with your calculator. Figure out what works for you.